Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale 8,000 gallon beer can tank car from Athern. This model is part of Athern's ready to roll line. My particular car is decorated for Emery with UTLX reporting marks. It has a stencil indicating that the car was tested in 1985, so it would be appropriate for most modern era layouts. I was not able to find any prototype photos of UTLX cars of this type in this paint scheme, so I can't say if it's accurate or not. Atherin also offers this car in several other paint schemes. The model has an MSRP of $32.98. The paint seems a bit on the thick side, but is opaque. Most of the markings are crisp and the small writing is legible with magnification. On one side, the Emery logo is slightly smeared, with some weathering that probably won't be too noticeable. The vertical ladders have delicate looking rungs. The end sills have separately applied grab irons. The sill on the B end has a slight upward tilt. The ends of the car have photo etched walkways. The brake detail on the B end is good, and I really like the chains. The piping on the brake components is freestanding, but a little too thick looking. The end railings also seem too thick, but they look like they should stand up to moderate handling. The car lacks the placard holders common on most tank cars. The car is equipped with McHenry scale shelf couplers. Both couplers are at their correct height according to the KD height gauge. The top of the car has photo etched platforms and good hatch detail. The railings seem to be made of metal so they should be fairly durable. One of the railings on my model is crooked. The underside of the car has good freestanding plumbing detail. The metal wheels are free rolling and all are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. As it came out of the box, my car is a bit wobbly. Tightening one of the bolster screws should help fix this. The car weighs 3 ounces. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is 2.75 ounces. Overall, I think this is a pretty nice model, and considering that real prices are often less than the MSRP, it's a good value. Still, I'm a little bothered by some of the fit and finish issues, like the crooked railing, blurred logo, and sloping end cell. I'm going to take a spike off for all of those things, so my final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes.